Let's take everything out. Give it to Mimi. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. So here's Thank another you. video Thank in my cabinet series. And my granddaughter is helping me out again. She's taking everything out of the drawer because, like I said in my last video, that's the first step on how I do certain drawers and cabinets. Not always, but when they're real messy like this I like to just take everything out and basically start over She really had a good time um, showing her parents and her papa about the good job that she did <laughs> this day. It was super cute. We're just going to organize what was in there. Mostly it's little uh, small containers that my husband takes different little sauces and little food and stuff for his lunch. He'll put hummus in one or whatever. And then some of those little tiny round baking dishes. What are those called? Shoot, I forgot. Like custard bowls or pans? I can't remember. I have to kind of zoom in certain times to get my granddaughter's face out of the frame <laughs> for her privacy. So that's why sometimes you'll see, it's like, why are you zooming in on that? <laughs> and that's why. Okay, these three don't match, so I'm getting rid of them. Not only that, but... I don't know why I have so many in the first place. I bought them for a specific um, recipe when I was doing paleo and I had this paleo cookbook and I bought them. I don't think I've ever used them all at once. I don't even know what recipe that was for, but I know you can do like egg bite. You can make your own egg bites and stuff like that. So anyway, I need to start doing that again. This is my 
donate pile except for this and this. Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my next cabinet declutter. Bye.